There's so many small, delicate things inside this dish and it really speaks to the simplicity and the beauty, but it's the layers of basil, the layers of tomato, the extraction of the tomatoes. I'm Scott Conant and today we're making roasted whole snapper with tomatoes, basil, and fresh oregano. So one of the reasons why I chose this dish and one of the reasons why I chose to team up with Alzheimer's was number one, my grandmother had dementia and some of the memories that I had of my grandmother was really all of us being around the table, around the Thanksgiving table in particular. I chose fish because I feel like part of a healthy diet is very important for any brain related disease. If you don't have a really large saute pan, I think it's very easy to just use a larger roasting pan or the smallest roasting pan that the fish will fit in. You don't want too much surface area because that sauce will cook down really quickly so it really has that beautiful intermingling of flavors. One of the other things that I like to do instead of holding the fish and dumping the oil out sometimes I'll just take a paper towel and absorb all that excess oil so it doesn't have an acrid flavor from cooking too much. Uh, sometimes that oil can be a little bit off-putting when you're cooking a delicate sauce like this. As this fish cooks I love this waft of scents that you get from the the lemon that's hitting the oil and the, the oregano and the basil and there's just a beautiful essence that comes off of this fish that's a beautiful perfume. So one of the reasons why I chose to work with Alzheimer's Association is because of those memories that I have from childhood and also the memories that I'm creating with my own daughters and with my own family. You know, those shareable items being on the table. I have memories of my grandmother putting, you know, the, the turkey down at Thanksgiving, kind of that Norman Rockwell moment. And she couldn't remember our names, much less those moments, those memories that we all shared together. It was difficult to watch her memory completely slip away of the things that were important to her. She would go out of her way to make so much food on Thanksgiving. It was such a moment for her to, to kind of showcase the way she loved to cook. And I think those are the things that as they slipped away from her, it made me want to embrace more with my own family. So as I cook for my children, one of the things that I love, how some of these flavors make me remember different experiences in my life growing up. And my daughters really love hearing some of those stories of my childhood. It inspires conversation. It inspires that nostalgia. It inspires uh, more memories for my children. So I really want to reflect that in the food that I cook and how today when I taste those same things they hearken back to those memories that I've built throughout time. Around the table is watching my children grow up. Around the table is watching my parents grow old. Now, these are things that are such important moments in my life and I want to experience them as often as I can and that's really what it's all about for me. So I really enjoyed making this recipe. I hope you can enjoy it as well around the table with your friends and loved ones.